Top 8 Female Spies of All Time Throughout history, female spies have been like those flames leaping in the night sky, full of something. Dressed in beautiful evening gowns and carrying handbags full of information, they have spent their lives telling their stories from luxurious ballrooms to narrow alleys, from bright stages to dark prisons. Sometimes these stories are full of charm and vitality, sometimes they contain tragedy and sorrow, but no matter what, they are the most unforgettable pages of that era. In this article, we will highlight eight such women who combined wisdom and courage to make a bright mark on history. 1. Mata Hari Mata Hari, a dancer and prostitute of Dutch origin, made her name as a legend in the world of espionage during the First World War. Let's step into her world and into a time of trickery and danger. As the flames of World War I sweep across Europe, Mata Hari becomes a secret tool of German intelligence during this tumultuous time. With her dancing skills and seductive appearance, she managed to integrate herself into high society and political circles to gather intelligence for Germany. Her dance performances became her cover, a glamorous behind-the-scenes role that allowed her access to those who held power and intelligence. She utilized her unique charisma and delicate dance moves to catch the eye of many dignitaries and military generals. More than just a dance, her performances are full of metaphors and innuendos that convey her message. One night, Mata Hari is talking to a French military general at some aristocratic banquet. Intrigued by her beauty and intelligence, he unknowingly reveals some key military strategies. Mata Hari is offering a valuable gift to German intelligence. However, her dual identity is not something that will never be revealed. French intelligence begins to suspect her actions and sends a young and clever agent to investigate her. This agent digs deeper into his intelligence gathering and discovers Mata Hari's connections to German spies and her role in passing military intelligence. A dangerous game of cat and mouse begins between the agent and Mata Hari. They meet in the streets and cafes of Paris, communicating in secret through codes and passwords. Mata Hari's charisma and ingenuity allow her to escape from the agent's trail, but her dual identity is exposed to the light of day. Eventually, Mata Hari is arrested and charged with espionage. Her trial became the center of worldwide attention and sparked great controversy. Some saw her as an innocent victim caught up in the intrigues of international politics, while others were convinced that she was a ruthless spy who served Germany with her charm and ingenuity. Throughout the trial, Mata Hari maintained her secrecy and stoicism. She did not reveal any information or admit her dual identity. Eventually, she was sentenced to death and became one of the most recognized female spies during the war. 2. Virginia Hall Let's travel back in time together to France during World War II. In a time of hostility and uncertainty, a female spy, Virginia Hall, comes to us from afar. Virginia Hall an American woman of extraordinary courage and resourcefulness, was described by the Nazis as one of the most dangerous Allied spies of all time. Her story begins in 1941, when she was a diplomat at the U.S. Embassy in France. Unfortunately, however, she lost her left leg in a hunting accident and was forced to end her diplomatic career prematurely. However, Virginia didn't let this get her down. Instead, she turned this setback into an advantage for her in the war. She was fitted with a wooden prosthetic leg and named it Cuthbert, which became her faithful companion and helped her accomplish many dangerous missions. When she is recruited as a British agent, Virginia begins her career as a spy. In the guise of a French peasant woman, she traveled through the countryside and developed a close bond with the local population. Her appearance and accent were unmistakably French, enabling her to infiltrate the Nazi-occupied territories, gather intelligence, and assist the resistance. Virginia's intelligence and courage made her a key supporter of the resistance. She used her prosthetic leg to pass on radio equipment hidden in it to the Allies and to keep in touch with intelligence agencies in London. Her espionage activities were more than just intelligence gathering. She was also responsible for organizing the actions of the resistance movement and assisting fleeing allies to get safely out of enemy-held territory. However, her activities were not without risk. The Nazi authorities launched an all-out search for her, posting her picture on the walls of various cities in an attempt to apprehend her. Virginia was forced to change identities and hiding places frequently. 
but she remained steadfast in her mission and relentless in her fight against the enemy. Her courageous actions aroused the fear and respect of the enemy. The Nazis made her a top priority target for arrest and nicknamed her the Limping Lady. Her presence became a beacon of hope for the French under Nazi rule, inspiring them to continue their resistance. One of Virginia's particularly dangerous missions was to organize a mass exodus to safely transport allies from enemy-occupied territory. Working closely with local resistance organizations, she devised a sophisticated plan to bring the escapees to freedom through mountainous and dangerous routes. This operation required not only her courage and intellect, but also her determination and leadership. Virginia faced numerous challenges and dangers during this escapade. She experienced fierce firefights with the Nazis and was forced to cross treacherous mountains and rivers. However, her perseverance and determination kept her going, and she eventually succeeded in bringing the escapees to safety. Virginia Hall's saga did not end after the war. She continued to work for U.S. intelligence agencies and was involved in Cold War operations. She was widely praised for her contributions and acts of bravery and was awarded the Medal of Freedom in 1966, the highest honor of the U.S. intelligence agencies. 3. Josephine Baker let us enter the warring years of World War II and come to France, the land of the shadow of war. One of the unique and courageous women of this era was Josephine Baker. Josephine Baker, an American-born French citizen, was a dancer, singer, and actress who was known as the Negro Serpentine. However, her talent and beauty were not limited to the stage. Under the cloud of war, Josephine decided to devote her talents and courage to the French resistance by becoming a spy. Josephine's story begins in 1940, when France was occupied by Nazi Germany. As a famous artist, she used her fame and social circle to become an ideal spy. Working with the French intelligence agency, she embarked on a dangerous journey of espionage, using her tours as a cover. As a black woman, Josephine was not looked upon favorably in Nazi-occupied France. However, it was the peculiarities of this identity that made her an undetectable spy. She utilized her looks and charm to gather intelligence in high-class social settings and establish connections with the Nazi hierarchy. Josephine's stage talent became her perfect disguise. Her performance tours allowed her to enter cities in the Nazi-occupied territories and establish contacts with the local resistance movement. Behind the scenes of her performances, she secretly passed on information that helped the resistance movements organize uprisings and escape operations. She also used her fame and social status to help Jews in hiding escape Nazi persecution. She set up a secret shelter in her own residence to provide refuge and help to escape peace. With her courage and determination, she saved many lives. However, Josephine's espionage work was not without risk. She was in constant danger of being discovered and arrested by the enemy. The Nazis became suspicious of her activities and targeted her for arrest at the highest level. However, Josephine's intelligence and resourcefulness enabled her to remain calm in the midst of danger and take timely action to protect herself and her colleagues. During the final stages of the war, Josephine's activities became more dangerous and urgent. She took an active part in resistance operations, including sabotaging enemy bases, passing on information, and assisting in escape operations. Her courageous actions brought hope and strength to the French resistance. At the end of the war, Josephine was awarded the French Resistance Medal and the French Order of Military Merit for her courageous acts and contributions during the war. Her legend became a heroic tale that inspired countless people to pursue justice and freedom. 4. Ethel Rosenberg Let's travel back in time to post-World War II America. During this time of tension and espionage, there was a woman named Ethel Rosenberg who came into the spotlight for allegedly providing the Soviet Union with America's nuclear secrets. Ethel Rosenberg, an ordinary American woman, lives in the tense atmosphere following World War II. She and her husband, Julius Rosenberg, were accused of being involved in an espionage scheme to leak nuclear weapons technology to the Soviet Union. The accusation sparked a nationwide sensation and controversy. Ethel's story begins during the Cold War at the end of World War II. Tensions between the United States and the Soviet Union were at their peak, 
and the secrets of nuclear weapons became a point of contention between the two sides. Against this tense backdrop, the U.S. government launches an investigation into internal espionage, and Ethel and Julius become the targets of the investigation. As a married couple, Ethel and Julius are believed to be part of a Soviet spy network. They were accused of using their positions and contacts to obtain classified documents on nuclear weapons research and pass them on to Soviet intelligence agencies. The accusation caused an uproar and became one of the most important political cases of the time. The trials of Ethel and Julius became a national sensation. They were charged with treason and faced the possibility of the death penalty. During the trial, controversy over the evidence and the testimony of witnesses continued, sparking a lively public debate. However, both Ethel and Julius have always maintained their innocence. They claimed that the charges were politically motivated and an unfair retaliation against them. However, these defenses did not change the court's verdict against them. Ultimately, Ethel and Julius were sentenced to death. The decision sparked widespread controversy and protest. Some saw them as victims, politically persecuted, while others saw them as traitors who deserved severe punishment. However, Ethel's fate seemed even more cruel than Julius. Despite her insistence on her innocence, she ultimately faced immense pressure and fear at her execution. Her execution became a center of international attention, prompting protests and appeals around the globe. 5. Pearl Cornelie Pearl Cornelie, a woman of valor and determination, was known as the female commander of the French resistance. Like the French who resisted the German occupation, she saw her country oppressed by the enemy and decided to fight for freedom. Pearl's story begins in 1940, when German troops occupied France. She was an English woman, but she loved France and decided to join the French resistance. She is sent to the south of France to conduct clandestine activities and work with other resistance organizations. Pearl was not satisfied with just participating in the resistance, she longed to play a larger role. She felt that she had the ability to organize and command a partisan force to fight against the German attack. So she began recruiting volunteers and acquiring weapons and equipment through secret channels. Her partisan group consisted of thousands of people from all walks of life from ex-soldiers to ordinary citizens. Known as the Wolf Pack of Britannia, they fought guerrilla warfare in the mountains of France, launching attacks on German troops and disrupting their rear supply lines and communications networks. Pearl's strong leadership and intelligent command made the Britannia Wolves a major force in the resistance movement. She developed strategic plans, organized intelligence gathering and sabotage operations, and maintained strong ties with other resistance groups. She and her pack endured many difficult battles and hardships, but they never gave up. They adopted various camouflages and used mountain sneak attacks and guerrilla tactics so that the Germans were never able to catch them. Their presence and actions became a ray of hope for the French people, inspiring more people to join the resistance. Pearl Cornelie's legend will always be remembered in the pages of French history as a symbol of freedom and justice for her bravery and perseverance. By being a woman, she proved to the world that women can be just as powerful in war and became a hero of history. 6. Noranayath Khan Noranayath Khan, a woman born in India, had the option of staying away from the war in Europe. However, her heart burns with a desire for freedom and justice and she decides to fight for the victory over Nazi Germany. Nora is selected to join the British Secret Operations Executive, SOE, as a radio operator. She underwent rigorous training in the use of radio equipment and mastered code-breaking techniques. Her mission was to establish and maintain communications with the resistance in France. Nora's first mission was to France, where she parachuted under the London night sky, throwing herself into danger and uncertainty. In the guise of a radio operator under the alias Madeline, she began her covert operations in France. Her mission in France is not an easy one, as she is under surveillance and hunted by the German army. She had to be on her guard to avoid detection by the enemy. She sets up a secret radio station in France, using codes and ciphers to keep in touch with the command center in London. Nor's work was so dangerous that she often worked for hours on end in the darkness of the night, providing intelligence and guidance to the resistance. 
Her radio station became a vital link for the French resistance, helping them to organize operations, pass on intelligence, and coordinate resistance. However, Noor's courageous actions were eventually detected by the Germans. She became the target of their pursuit and faced arrest and interrogation. Although she knew she was at great risk, she decided to stand her ground and continue to fight for freedom. Eventually, Noor's location was discovered by the Germans and she was arrested and interned in a concentration camp. There, she was brutalized, but she stood firm in her beliefs and never divulged any vital information. Noor Anayath Khan was eventually killed in the camp, and her courage and sacrifice made her a hero of the British Covert Action Executive. 7. Elsbeth Schragmuller In Germany during World War I, war was raging and a cloud hung over the entire continent. People's lives were consumed by the war, and one woman rose to prominence during these tumultuous times, and her name was Elsbeth Schragmuller. Elsbeth Schragmuller, a young woman born in Germany, possessed wit and courage. She sees the great challenges that the war brings to Germany and decides to devote herself to espionage in order to contribute to her country. Elsbeth began her career as a spy by assembling a vast and secretive network of spies. With her ingenuity and connections, she recruited a group of volunteers, each with a different role in the war effort. Her spy network spread all over Germany, from the front lines to the rear, from government agencies to military bases, she had eyes and ears in every corner. Her volunteers took on the guise of civilians, soldiers, and even high-ranking officials, mingling in enemy camps to gather intelligence and provide Germany with valuable strategic information. Elsbeth's resourcefulness and organizational skills allowed her spy network to operate smoothly. She established secure channels of communication, using codes and ciphers to communicate, ensuring the security and confidentiality of her intelligence. Elsbeth's espionage operations played an important role. Her intelligence helped the German army understand the enemy's strategies and plans, enabling them to act accordingly. Her network revealed the enemy's weaknesses and vulnerabilities, providing invaluable support to the German offensive. However, the war did not go smoothly and Elsbeth faced great risks. She is constantly alert to enemy surveillance and tracking, and her identity and mission are in jeopardy. She must be on constant alert to avoid being exposed and captured. As the war evolves, the enemy intensifies their campaign against Elsbeth's spy network. They send their top intelligence officers to try to detect and destroy her network. Elsbeth is under tremendous pressure and danger, but she does not back down. Elsbeth showed her courage and intelligence during this difficult time. She took more cautious action and changed her strategy and approach. She stayed in close contact with her volunteers and worked together to deal with the threat of the enemy. Eventually, however, the enemy finally found a trace of Elsbeth. They launch a massive raid in an attempt to destroy her spy network. Although Elsbeth put up a fierce resistance with her volunteers, she was eventually forced to abandon her base and move to a safer location in her new hiding place. Elsbeth Schragmuller was undeterred, and she reorganized her spy network. She developed a more sophisticated cryptographic system to ensure the security of communications. She also increased the training and instruction of her volunteers to make them more stealthy and resourceful in the face of enemy surveillance. Elsbeth's spy network was revitalized. As the war progressed, Elsbeth's name gradually spread throughout Germany. Her bravery and intelligence made her highly appreciated and respected. She became a legend in German espionage and was hailed as a heroine of the war. 8. Ursula Kaczynski in the 20th century, the world was filled with political strife and ideological struggles. And amidst the intrigue and espionage of this era, one woman stood proudly, and her name was Ursula Kaczynski. Ursula Kaczynski, a German-born woman, became a communist and a spy for the Soviet Union for her belief in communism. As a young woman, she witnessed the devastation of war and the injustices of society and decided to fight to realize the ideals of her heart. For most of the 20th century, Ursula threw herself into Soviet intelligence and became an accomplished spy. Her mission was to gather intelligence and pass it on to the Soviet Union to contribute to the communist cause. Ursula's career as a spy was not as thrilling as in the movies, but was full of secrecy and discretion. 
Her mission was to gather intelligence in the political and military establishments of Germany and other countries to help the Soviet Union understand the enemy's intentions and plans. Utilizing a variety of techniques and disguises, she mingled with elite political and social circles and made contact with a wide range of personalities in order to obtain vital information. Ursula's work is extremely dangerous, and she is at constant risk of detection and arrest. In order to protect herself and her colleagues, she must employ a variety of techniques and disguises to avoid enemy surveillance and tracking. Her work involves many dangerous tasks, including eavesdropping, photographing classified documents, deciphering codes, and more. She needs to be careful and resourceful and always alert to make sure her actions go unnoticed. However, Ursula is not just a cold-hearted spy. She's also a mother and a wife. Her family life is intertwined with her career as a spy, presenting her with great challenges and conflicts. She must find a balance between her family and her work, protect her identity and secrets, and take care of her family at the same time. This double life often leads her into pain and distress, but she always perseveres for the sake of her beliefs and her career. Over time, Ursula's career as a spy led to a series of significant accomplishments. She succeeded in gathering many important pieces of information and passing them on to the Soviet Union. Eventually, Ursula's career as a spy drew to a close at the end of the 20th century. With the collapse of the Soviet Union and the end of the Cold War, her work became increasingly difficult and dangerous. She decides to give up her career as a spy and return to an ordinary life. Although Ursula's career as a spy is over, her story will remain in the annals of history forever. That's all for this installment. Thanks for watching.